You're here at an international conference on nonviolence. Why? Well, <clears throat> pardon me. Uh, I think uh, my participation uh, is primarily um, motivated by my personal desire to be a better person um, because I know that, that the real challenge for the universe is, is, is mine, that uh, I cannot expect you to change or anyone else to change if, if I haven't changed myself. So there has to be a personal transformation or reformation before uh, one can expect anything of anyone else, which is why I told you at the very, very outset I didn't want to do an interview because th the uh, transformation is far from complete. Um, since my, my earliest recollections, uh, my earliest recollections of my father are, are of a beating that I received from him. Mm -hmm. uh, my father was a, uh, my biological father was a, was a heroin addict. Uh, my earliest recollections of my mother are a little more warm than that, but I also remember going to a jail and seeing my father, uh, waving to my father outside of the jail. His, his heroin had it, uh, ha habit uh, uh, landed him in jail frequently. Th uh, the reason, though, the sh there are no short answers. The, the, the reason for, uh, for me is that, uh, one, I feel that, that that I have to atone somehow uh, for the life that I've taken from this planet. And as I said at the very outset, um, I think um, the best thing I can do uh, or the best step I can take toward that atonement is to become nonviolent myself. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> I think actually what we're really talking about is going going past nonviolence. Use of the word nonviolence is actually um, um, a step below where what we should really be aiming for. And What's that? That is um, really the more active state of ahimsa where you don't, where you're not into trying not to be violent, but where you live in a state uh, where you, where you don't think evil of others, act evil toward others, or do evil toward others. It's a more active state than, than the state of not being violent. Mm -hmm.